which attribution software should you use with Facebook ads in 2003? Which one is the best? Which one is the most accurate? Oof, guys. Got a got a got a interesting one for you guys today. So before we jump into this, but you're questioning like, hey, like why am I critical to be teaching this types of things? For a Facebook ads agency, coach mentor students. I've done over eighty million dollars in sales for clients uh, with Facebook ads. And yeah, look, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's dive into this video. So I get this question all the time. Hey Nick, have you used Triple Well or Hey Nick, have you used Hyros or Hey Nick, have you used Click Magic? Or, you know, hey, Nick, have you used, um, like, I don't know, like Red Track, Red Tube? I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. But look, I get, I get all these questions about these attribution softwares. And, like, people are like, yo, Nick, which one's better? And, you know, I tried Triple L. Triple L sucks. And, quite frankly, I'm tired of seeing this shit because, quite frankly, it does not matter. And, um, you know, to be honest uh, with you guys, a lot of the, um, you know, the tracking and, um, you know, we used to do with Triple Well, we just quite frankly don't use it like we used to. Uh, we used to be super, super like deep down, like this ad got a point, you know, a, a 4.0 row ass. This ad got a 3.5, but Triple Well saying a, a 2X, we need to turn it off. And I don't know, just uh, uh, there's a funny thing about tri uh, attribution software is because if Facebook row ass it shows higher than Triple Well, well, Triple Well's wrong. But if Triple Well shows higher than Facebook, Facebook is wrong. So the first problem a lot of people have is that they don't know how to use these attribution softwares correctly because they're consistently going with either Facebook or the attribution software based off which one shows a higher ROAS. And that's that's the first problem a lot of, I have with these softwares is that people aren't using it correctly. You have to pick one and regardless of what the other one says, you stick with those numbers. So uh, we're a big fan of Triple Well. Uh, we're a big fan of um, High Rose, and we're also a big fan of Wicked Reports. They all have their individual cases, and I'll explain in this video. But the second thing I want to talk about is that attribution softwares aren't really important. They do not really do anything, and they don't really impact performance in the way you think they should, or at least from how we run our accounts. 90% of our accounts, we have one campaign in it. One campaign, it's a CBO campaign, and we look at, you know, that CBO campaign. Let's say, for example, we're spending we're spending uh, 12K right now, one account right now. We have CBO campaign for $12,000 a day. Uh, we have our main ad set for winning ads. And then we have like two or three other ad sets we're currently testing in that particular campaign itself. And um, the, the thing about this is that if one of those ad sets, ad sets get more spin because Facebook has identified that particular asset, not ad set, asset, asset, <laughs> gets more spin because it's a better asset, as set, because it's a better asset, that ad set, AD set, will you know get more spin because the assets we added, the creative, the copy is better and Facebook has identified that's a solid performer. So now I'm looking at, all right, hey, if we're dominantly spending on Facebook and Facebook is creating uh, the largest impact performance. And look, to be honest, guys, even if you're spending on Google, Facebook is still creating the biggest impact and performance because Google, like every account I audit, Google is doing like retargeting, remarketing, and branded search words, which are all dependent on the success of Facebook. So Facebook doesn't matter. I mean, Google ROAS doesn't matter. Um, the only time these other things would matter if you're like spending a shitload on TikTok, like, you know, maybe one-to-one -one with Facebook. And I've never seen an account yet where TikTok is spending more than 10% of what Facebook is spending. So dominantly, y'all still are spending dominant on Facebook, at least, you know, maybe 60 to 80% of your budget. And um, these other platforms are benefiting from the success of Facebook uh, due to, uh, you know, just your pulling in a lot of cold people and bring them to your website and doing more Google searches and all that good stuff right there. But the reason why an attribution software doesn't matter is because if that asset, that ad set gets more spin and takes off that campaign, which what we want. And I'll show you guys an example of what that looks like right here. So you can see right here is our main ad set. And then we launched, uh, let's see. Yeah, we launched these other ad sets, ad sets. 
um, over May 13th through May 15th, they didn't perform at all. They just kind of got a little spend. That's it. But then, and we can also see our overall NCCPA. It's the second thing I'm getting to. We monitor everything by NCCPA, new customer cost per acquisition. How much does it cost you to acquire a new customer? Now, when an ad set takes off, you can see like 123 right here. You can see that's a $29 cost per purchase. Uh, we were getting a $28 cost per purchase. Well, Nick, that's terrible. It's actually not performing better. But look at taking off. It fucking took all the spin. It's doing amazing. You loaded some really good assets. As sets. <laughs> assets in it. And guess what? Our NCCPA dropped by $31 or down to $31. It literally went from $39 to $31. And we're using this, this is triple well, but we're not using the attribution functionality of it because this Facebook is spending dominantly all the budget for this account. It's like all Facebook. So this particular account taking all the spend, uh, we had this one particular ad set that took off doing phenomenal and it's impacting overall performance. I don't need an attribution software to tell me anything in this case, if I'm running the account like this where it's one of campaign i'm just launching a new ad set it's a cbo new ad set that's that takes off cool that's it doesn't take off cool i'm turning it off why do i need an attribution software it does nothing for me and it took me a while to realize this so now we judge everything just by overall like we'll still take a look we still have trip well installed we still have the tracking code installed don't get me wrong but we're not making decisions based off those levels. We're, we're making decisions based off what takes off, what impacts overall performance and which impacts our NCCPA. If uh, we launch an ad set and maybe it gets, you know, maybe like, like a smaller portion of spin right here, but overall NCCPA drops down significantly, then cool. Well, we launched something that impacted overall NCCPA. So you can look around for some variety of tools to help you out with NCCPA to actually like produce that. Um, but all that basically is just taking your new customer orders coming into Shopify and then dividing that by ad spend to see, you know, how much you spent to acquire each one of those customers. Um, I'm looking at overall because quite frankly, um, Facebook helps Google. It helps email marketing and it helps um, well i wouldn't say it helps TikTok, but it helps email marketing and helps google so if google and email marketing substantially improve that's also going to improve your overall ncpa but those are going to be byproducts of facebook being better for the business so you know i posted on twitter if i have one campaign in that account campaign budget optimization one and judging creative tests based on what gets majority of spend and impacts overall business ncpa assuming facebook's majority and spend there do you really need an attribution tool and when it comes down to what attribution software is the best, yes, don't get me wrong. Shopify, um, I love TripleWell. That's my favorite. Hyros for click funnels only, and then Wicked Reports for everything else. That's what we know and love and what we like to do. Uh, why? That's just personal preference. That's, um, you know, their UI interface and stuff like that. Um, I personally prefer Hyros when it's just like one, one thing, like one product. Uh, like a landing page, like a sales funnel or something like that. Um, you know, like a click funnel, sales funnel. Uh, whereas Wicked Reports, I kind of like that more for like multiple products and like an e-com store, like a WooCommerce site. Uh, again, just a better UI interface for those specific needs. And then Triple L for Shopify, hands down my favorite due to all the data and analytics and stuff like that, um, that it brings to the table. But Let's say you can't afford the four, I think it's, I think triple L starts off at like four or $500 a month now, uh, maybe $300 a month. Let's say you can't afford the $300 a month or $400 a month for triple L, which is the cheapest. Cause I think high rose is like almost close to a thousand. I think wicked reports is $600. Well, if you can't afford that, then don't worry about it. Because quite frankly, if you're looking at your overall revenue to spend and you're looking at which ad set that takes off impacts performance the most that's how you know that that particular ad set did the greatest impact into performance and when you look at it from that what had the greatest impact in performance what took all the spend what is what is doing the most work in the account um quite frankly an attribution software is just not needed because all an attribution software is going to do is is con confirm what you already know and you already know it's overall revenue took off because the new ad set got a bunch of spin and now overall revenue is doing amazing. Or a new ad set took off and overall revenue is tanking. Then guess what? We just need to go turn off that ad set. That's it. 
There's no need for an attribution software to further tell me something I already know. Now, if you're doing $10 a day creative tests and you're doing like my old method, where it's just one ad set, like a couple different ad sets, and they all have like a 10 to $20 a day budget, and then you have another campaign for a few hundred dollars a day, and that's your scaling campaign, that, you need an attribution software. Why? Because you have so many little things going on, you can't determine what created the biggest impact in the business. Simple as that. So which attribution software is the best? Again, we personally prefer TripleL for Shopify, HiRes for ClickFunnels, and Wicked Reports for everything else. But at the end of the day, it's not needed. It's just, it's not needed. It's cool to have, but it's not needed to be successful. Do I still recommend my clients get on it? Yes, because of the other functionalities that, for example, Triple has with lifetime value of customer, show me uh, common product bundles, show me NCCPA, show me returning to existing customer split or new customer to existing customer split. Um, quite a few other reporting things outside of attribution. That's why I love Triple well, uh, for Shopify specifically. Uh, Wicked Reports and Hyros also do the same thing, which is also really good. But you can also probably find some cheaper softwares that just give you that reporting functionality of NCCPA, you know, lifetime value and stuff like that. I think Lifetimely does that potentially. Not, I haven't personally used it, so I'm just giving you guys an idea to go research it. But there's also some other things that you know could potentially help you out from there. So yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.